Welcome to Easy Stars Variety Society. And today we just wanted to come outside, get some fresh air, introduce the show to you. Um, on today's show, my man, the marvelous Marvolo, wizard extraordinaire, is coming today to help us, actually the males in our audience, help us to actually pick up females, members of the opposite sex. And for some odd reasons, he's coming from his proctology office. He does a number, he's a uh, doctor in many fields, and uh, today he comes from his proctology office. We'll see what that's all about. And as well, we have a, a health segment. Uh, Big B in full effect, funky fresh in the flesh is coming to talk to us about the e-cigarette the e-cigarette and not only health benefits but social benefits price benefits you know what I mean and that's all we just wanted to introduce the show to you check show, check out our Niagara University fly gear what's up hometown holla at your boy peace <laughs> Now the first thing to remember when picking up the member of the opposite sex. They all want you. They all want you. And you just have to remove the chittel from out of the way. That's why I am a proctologist. I am an expert at removing the chittel from out of the way. Because they all want me, Marvolo. Mm, 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 mm. Yes, this is the way we clean the chittel. Yes, I am the arse cleaner. Miss Marvolo, please send in the next patient. Yes, and I will remove the chittel. Yes. Oh, great gazookas. See me and them no know me and them no know me when them see me. But the girl say them I'm so pretty to me. See me and them no know me and them no know me when them see me. But the girl say them I'm so pretty to me. Great gazookas. Come into my office. I'm looking forward to working with you. <laughs> Please come in. Hi. Hello. Well, well, well. Look at the beauty we have here. <laughs> Let me see. It is a pleasure to meet you, Miss Stuffbottoms. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> How did you gain such a beautiful name? <laughs> <laughs> ah, so what we want to do first is check your pulse, okay? Uh, sure. All right. I know you want me to check your pulse. <laughs> Hmm. I hear the pitter patter of beautiful music, cherubs blowing trumpets, fairies sprinkling powder gold dust <laughs> about us. <coughs> and yes, we both know why you are here today. I am the world's greatest proctologist slash wizard. So I have the best technology in proctology. And I will be very, very gentle with you today, Miss Stuffbottoms. Don't you want to give me something to go to sleep first? 
No, I think I will chat with you as I remove the chittel from the chittel maker. Will you please kindly step out of the chair <laughs> and go over there to the bend over. <laughs> yes. Take the bend over. Yes. Yes, let me align everything that I need in alignment to make my entry into the arse. <laughs> All right, now. Do you feel comfortable, Miss Stuff <laughs> Buttons? Yeah, I'm uncomfortable as I'm gonna be. Well, uh, let me have a look here. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh looks like a lot is stuffed back here, Miss Stuff Bottoms. <laughs> We are going to have to go in here with the tools and remove the chittel. <laughs> I love my job. All right. Ooh, this is looking real good here like that. Oh. I mean, it looks as though you have been here before to the proctologist. <laughs> and they have taken good care of you. Uh -huh. I do yet see some work to be done back here. Just a one moment. Yes, I want you to calm down here. <laughs> and uh, after we remove this chittel, uh, how about we take a ride in my carriage? Would you like that? I might be too tired. Too tired to take a ride in my convertible carriage, four horse carriage, top of the line. All the ladies loved it. I ain't sleep very well last night. All the reason more, the pitter patter of my horse's hooves <laughs> is such a melodic enchantment, mm. it will rock you to sleep. Wow. Not to mention, I am a wizard. Wow. I can do many, many things. I guess we'll see. Okay, then, Miss Stuff Bottom. Here, let me remove this right here. A little sticky. Okay. Well, I will tell you as a wizard. I do have uh, two crystals. How would you like to see? Our future in these two crystal balls. Oh, wow. Yes, have you ever seen a crystal ball? Nope. Well, I tell you, one is always better than two. <laughs> I didn't know you supposed to have two. <laughs> How about we go back to my hearth? Aren't you about through? And we jump in my cauldron and make <laughs> caramel and cream stew. Aren't together. You, aren't you about through back there? Silence! I don't think it takes this long. Ma'am, I'm a professional proctologist. A professional chittel mover. Damn that. Are you questioning my professionalism and integrity and expertise at removing the chittel from no. betwixt your arse? All right, then. Hold on, I need you to arc your back up a little more. That's right, there's a one piece hiding right there. Hold on. We'll get, we will get that. We will get that. <laughs> Do not laugh. Let's okay, here. I need one more line. I need one more line for the hook and sinker. Let's mm. see here. Uh, 
You like this, don't you? Ah. I like this. It looks really <laughs> juicy. Ah. Okay. Done. I think I am finished. Thank you. Thank you. But my damsel, how would you like to return back to my cave for a nightcap? It's a good thing you only got to get this done once a year. I said to return to my abode for a nightcap, dear. It ain't night yet. Why wait for the sun to <laughs> set? Is you asking me out? Yeah. I am offering an opportunity. Ain't your wife the receptionist? No. <laughs> oh my God, that. I understand that. That is my niece. Oh, she yeah, is, got the same last name. Yes. Her name is Melissa Marvolo. I thought she was a little too young for you. So will you be my companion for the evening? I know you are very well clean because I have personally cleansed <laughs> your arse myself. And this is how you pick up women, 101. I am the marvelous Marvolo, signing off. Big B coming to you today to talk about a new product that I found and it's called the e-cigarette um, what that is is electronic cigarette now uh, about a year ago I had um, seen them on the internet and it seemed, it looked it like it could be a good product but not knowing anything about the product I didn't um, try to research it or look at it anymore. Um, I actually also had heard that they started kits started at $200 and I just couldn't see me putting out $200 for not something that I didn't know nothing about. So um, recently I was at one of the corner stores, um, <laughs> Arabian stores, whatever you want to call them, and seeing that they had um, these um, throwaway e-cigarettes and this is actually a blue um, and it was pretty good it actually tasted like a real cigarette it was kind of heavier than a real cigarette but it tasted like a real cigarette and that's what we were going what I was going for um, so after purchasing that cigarette I decided to go on the internet and through that I was doing more research on them to actually see what the benefits of them were. Um, and I came up with three reasons that the e-cigarette is actually a good purchase, a good cigarette. If you are a big smoker, um, if you are trying to quit smoking. So it's a good thing to um, look into and research. Um, the first one is I'm going to talk about is health. Um, Health-wise, the e-cigarette is a vapor versus smoking tobacco. It's, uh, I guess, from what I've heard or uh, researched it, it's like a vaporizer, mist, 
but it turns into a smoke. So you actually feel like you're smoking a cigarette, but it's a vapor. It's a water vape. It's not tobacco process. It's not a tobacco process. No chemicals. It has none of the chemicals that regular cigarettes have in them. So you're basically getting away from chemicals. And the next one would be controlling your nicotine level because they come in different nicotine levels. Actually, the nicotine levels would be high for the highest nicotine that you can probably get, um, medium for still feeling nicotine or feeling like you're getting nicotine, and then low nicotine to the fact that you're probably not really getting a lot of nicotine, and then basically no, no nicotine at all. So, and that's where I'm trying to get to, is no nicotine at all. So, um, okay, now, if you do your research, like I did my research, I found out that dentists, dentists are recommending the e-cigarette um, for, I'm pretty sure you know the reasons why, um, because your teeth turn yellow, it's bad for your gums. I actually went to the dentist and found that my gums were terrible, and it is from smoking like my bone structure is like can't be fixed it's just there um and that's from smoking cigarettes so dentists are recommending it because like i said you're not doing the tobacco and tobacco is actually stain staining the teeth and actually eating at the gums and at your bones so like i said dentists are recommending it if you do your research you're gonna find out that dentists are recommending it um the next one would be the smell of tobacco. Um, the downside of that is that it gets in your clothes, your hair, and if you a chronic smoker, it's like in your house. It's like in your furniture. It's in your walls. It's in everything in your house. Your pictures, your curtains, everything. Basically, what's in your house is in it. If you're like me, when you have people over, you just feel so awful <laughs> when you open up your door and you invite somebody in and they're smelling that, you know? And I'm always trying to burn incense or trying to find something to the odor eater or whatever. And that's just awful to me that, you know, we as people, we have to go through that to try to let people, you know, so people won't know that we smoke that much in our house smell like that. And the next one I feel like is people. You have people that actually don't want to be around you because you smoke. You know, they smell it on you. They actually is inhaling it off of you, you know. And a lot of people have asthma and they can't be around that kind of stuff. So then you feel like people are shining you or don't want to be around you and it ain't you is the fact that you do you got a bad habit that you do smoke so um you know with this cigarette it actually cuts that down you you know people want to be around you people don't mind being around you people don't mind coming to your house um because it doesn't leave a smell it doesn't smell like they have so many different flavor um sense that it but even though they do you don't smell them they're not overpowering they're not where you feel like you just don't want to be around it um so that's another one of the reasons um that i like the e-cigarette um then the next one would be that the e-cigarette is actually better at price now like i said a year ago this cigarette they were starting them out at 200 and probably up from what i seen so like i said it kind of threw me off because i wasn't paying 200 dollars for nothing you know even though my health is worth more than 200 dollars, i just didn't see me doing it so i kind of brushed it off to the side but like i said this year i seen the disposable wanted to try it tried it fell in love with it um now they're at a reasonable price 
you can get them from $60 to $40 for a starter kit. Um, actually, I got my first starter kit the other day, and I'm loving it. I Oh, God, it's, it's wonderful. Um, I paid $48. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you what my kit actually came with and look like like I said it was $48 they have different sites you can go to um, like I said if you do your research on them and I feel that all people but especially black black people should be trying to find out about this product um, I've been doing my research and I really have not seen a lot of African Americans that is that know about this product so I am trying to get the awareness out there about this product. So getting back to um, telling you about my starter kit that I got. As I said, I'm going to show you what I got in my starter kit and basically what you have to get to maintain your e-cigarette that you, and you know, so, it doesn't get cost start costing so much to have this product um this is what the cigarette looks like now this is the one from my kit as you can if you can see it it has a button right there that you have to press down actually if you press it down the tip turns blue they have also have red tips that the tip will turn red um to make it look more like a real cigarette I don't really care about that. Um, now, this cigarette comes in three pieces. And you get two of these. Okay, this is my cigarette that I got. I'm loving this cigarette. <laughs> and it comes in three parts, as I was telling you. This is the filter where you put your juice. You get five of these with your kit. Um, then if you untwist it, you get your, this is called your atomizer. This is what makes your vapor, if you need to know. This is the, and mine's just a little one, I, like I said, I love this. This, um, right here is probably what you will have to buy more of or you would buy more of i actually been researching them um they cost maybe a dollar something dollar and some change for these and they have different sizes they have different ones because they actually have different e-cigarettes so i'm loving this um this is like i said this is the atomizer um dollar something for an atomizer and um, this lasts you a pretty long time. You get a lot of usage out of this. I say, some people said they used their animizer for a year and didn't have no problems with it. Didn't know, even know that they could clean it. Then they found out they could clean them and they were really happy because you could clean these so you actually save money on buying them because they're cleanable. So that's actually good. Something you can clean and reuse. Okay, is the atomizer. So then the third part of this machine is your battery. Now, the thing about this is a chargeable battery. You can charge this battery. Okay, so and you get two of these with your kit. Um, you don't have to replace it that often. I mean, it's not. It, it's up to you. I mean, basically, as long as you're not doing anything or your battery's not screwed up or broke or whatever, and I'm pretty sure it, it takes a lot to break these, you know, unless you just want to sit there and tear them apart or something, but it takes a lot to break these. You don't really have to buy these, but you can. You can buy more batteries if you want to. You know, like I said, they're on the site. But, um, so with that, I'm going to put it back together. Like I said, you get two batteries, you get two analyzers, you get, with this filter, 
and this is what we call the mouthpiece. Most people are going to call it a mouthpiece. It has another name, and once I do another video, I'll actually be able to actually tell you what the name of these things is. I'm just going to say it's a mouthpiece. It comes with five of these. Now, the only thing about these ones, and because of the kit that I bought, you fill these up with your own liquid. Didn't come pre-liquid. They have them that already have liquid in them. If you prefer to get them, they also come in five, a five pack of the filters, but they're called something else when they got juice in them already. But I'll tell you that on another video. But what's inside of there, and I'm hoping that we can zoom in and show you that. Um, trying to zoom guys for you trying to get a good zoom okay okay and that little white thing in there that you can see I'm not going to pull it out because actually I'm smoking on this one so and it has liquid on it, it has juice on it Let me put it like that because it's not liquid it's juice um, it's a filter it's um, it's a word for this too <laughs> This is so funny because I should have had this word for this. It's a word for what this is. It's not cotton. So I'm not going to tell you that it's like cotton because people will be trying to put cotton in their things. But it's a word for it. And on one of my, one of my, one of my other videos, I will actually have the actual word for you so you'll know what it is. And if you research it, you will find out yourself what it is. But what that is, that is what the juice goes on or it catches the juice and that's what it does to keep the juice from just falling out of the tube that catches it and then you take this and you put it in here in your on your atomizer i'm hoping i'm saying that right guys on the atomizer and you make sure it's in there you don't have to press hard and Basically, I'm going to give it a couple pulls because it's been took apart, so I got to warm the atomizer up. <laughs> and this gets hot too, guys, but not to the point that it might burn you, but you, you know the, the, the heat. Okay. See me and them no know me and them no know me when them see me. But the girl them say them have something to give me. See me and them no know me and them no know me when them see me. But the girl them say them have something to give me. See me and them no know me and them no know me when them see me. But the girl them say them have something to give me. She tell me say she have something to bring it to me. Yeah man, one little tight young slimmy Deep in the rock, she said she really wanna give me